We have the Aquarium Water Company. Mary Louise, you brought that up. Well, I certainly did. Um, earlier in the year, I remember uh, turning on my kitchen faucet and having a whole pile of filthy water come out. I called Fred and said, help, what's going on? And Aquarian had done some digging, whatever they were doing, and didn't think to notify anybody that uh, their water was going to come through all dirty. Uh, and we were supposed to, Fred said we were supposed to run the faucets for 15 minutes to clear the water, which did work. But on last Thursday, uh, 10 minutes of 6 in the evening, I'm getting ready to put down the supper for the kitties and rinse out their water bowls and fill them with nice fresh water. And I turned on the kitchen faucet and it hissed and it jumped and I thought the faucet was gonna hit the ceiling. And I'm not kidding you. This is a dreadful pain in the neck. So I quick shut it down and I stood there trying to figure out what the devil was going on. So I gingerly tried lifting it up just a little bit and it was still hissing and sputtering and making a big fuss. So I thought about it and I called one of my neighbors and I said, are you having a problem with your water? And he said, oh, I saw somebody out there tinkering with the hydrant a little while ago. So I said, hmm. So I called the emergency number for the police department, a very nice dispatcher. I explained the problem and I didn't know what I was gonna do with this mess at six o'clock in the evening. So uh, she, I gave her my phone number and she said, do you mind if I share this with Aquarian? And I said, no problem, uh, please do. So about 10 minutes later, one of their employees called me from Seabrook and uh, he said he'd have to come up and bleed the line and told me that he needed an outdoor faucet to do that. So I promised that I would turn on the outdoor faucet, which I had turned off at the end of September, so it wouldn't freeze over the winter. And uh, then uh, 15 min about 15 minutes later, after I called, the nice dispatcher at BD called me and asked if everything was all right, if I was gonna be getting help, which was very nice. She did a follow-up call. I went down in the cellar immediately and turned the faucet on. I told the man that there is a faucet on the driveway side, so it was easy access, and that I would release the, uh, you know, open the, the faucet. Uh, 10 minutes of, and by the way, there's no uh, <clears throat> water. Uh, so I went to my budget meeting at backing out of the driveway at 10 minutes of seven and the nice gentleman was there and he opened the faucet and it was spitting out a huge amount of water with a whole bunch of coughs and spits and whatever it did and it was jiggling the outdoor faucet. So I figured I'd deal with whatever when I got home. I got home about 9.15 and, or it was quarter of nine, what, right in that neighborhood. And the first thing I saw was the driveway all the way to the barn with water. A neighbor told me that the gentleman was at my house for at least 20 minutes. And all that time the water was spitting out. I don't know how many gallons that represents, but I'll tell you one thing, I'm not gonna pay for that water. Then, so it's all down the driveway, dug a hole in my strawberries under the faucet and I went down in the cellar to shut off the faucet so that I wouldn't forget it. And I happily turned around and saw water all over the cellar floor. My house was built in 1903 and I have a laid rock cellar foundation. And with the, I never use the outdoor faucets without hooking up the hose. Well, the hose was packed in the barn at the end of September because I didn't need it anymore. And the faucet, which is right up against the house, was spitting out huge quantities of water in addition to the puffing with the, with the air. And uh, so I enjoyed two, week, two days of cleaning up the cellar where all the water leaked. 
Um, one of my neighbors had also called me um, early on and said she was having a terrible time and her husband wasn't home and she didn't know what to do. So I told her the aquarium truck would be coming, she should flag him down when, it, when he went by her. Uh, then, since then, I have learned from friends who have called that down as far as Dunvegan Woods, they had problems with air in the line. Um, I am furious. I don't know whether they were trying to, uh, that we've, we've received notices that say we have already uh, cleaned or the hydrants, 17 hydrants, and we have 469 more to go or something. I thought it was made clear to them, and I think they should know already that they shouldn't be servicing hydrants in the cold weather. And uh, once I did get home after I shut off the faucet in the cellar, I turned on the kitchen faucet again. It was spitting and huffing, not as bad as it had before. Then I get a pile of dirty water. Then I went into the bathroom, and that huffed and sniffed and made a racket, and dirty water again. And then I flushed the toilet, and a big puff, and the, the ceramic lid on the toilet tank was up about, half, about, about an inch. It popped right up in the air. So I left the water running. I will tell you I have no idea how many gallons were consumed with the uh, man trying to bleed the lines. Um, and then, of course, I wasted water. I didn't mean to waste water, but trying to clear the line with the dirt. And I am not a happy person. Have this is called, twice. Have you called Aquarian and to explain the situation to them? Bank part. Well, this, their service technician knows perfectly well what happened. He heard it all. But you're claiming now that you, you, you had a water bill. Have you called them and explained no, that to them? No, I didn't say I have a water bill yet. Well, you I, said you, you had a bunch of water that you weren't paying for. Have you called them and asked them about No, that? I haven't called them and asked well, them because I'm be absolutely the first place furious to start. with them. And I'm trying to calm down before I have any That would probably be the first place to start. Well, the it first seems place like they had some air in the line, it's and that's how it—that's how you get rid of it. Well, have they been telling us when they have dirty water and stuff, Fred? I thought you—I thought we agreed with them that they would notify us if they had, uh, you know, dug up a pipe or something, and they knew the water was going to be dirty, so they'd tell people to run the water for 15 minutes. I don't think this was a digging situation. I'm sorry? I don't think this was a digging situation. No, I know that. I agree yeah. with you. I don't right. know how it happened, but I am, mm. quite frankly, furious. Well, then you ought to contact them first and then come in here and give well, us Well, they don't a, know what they're doing. history of what happened. They don't know what they're doing? They call they're, them. Th their employee didn't tell them oh what was God. happening? It's, it's unacceptable to have that mess. Okay. I am really, really. Cross. I have a question that 